I'm just coming back from the Personal Democracy Forum at Lincoln Center, which is a conference about how technology intersects with politics. And as I was riding the subway home, I had all these thoughts about it, and I thought maybe I would write a blog post, but it's 5.38 right now, and I want to make it to a 7.30 yoga class, so I don't have time for a blog post. So I'm doing something I never do, which is a video, um, just kind of brain dump of what I think of something. Um, I don't do this very often just because I feel like the world has enough video of me, but um, when I write a blog post, it takes like an hour and a half because I obsess about content and wit and structure and grammar and all of that stuff. So um, if I do a video post, I can just kind of throw it out there and then maybe you can respond because my reaction to this conference kind of has my head spinning. I posted to Twitter that I need to slow my role and hopefully going to the yoga class will accomplish the slowing of said role. Um, but basically, here's what I was thinking. There were some really great speakers there like Dana Boyd and Jeff Jarvis and um, just a bunch of journalists and politicians and they were talking about how the internet and technology changes the face of politics and how the next generation is really going to use the information age to make their decisions on who leads the world next. But in talking about how there's Facebook and there's Twitter and there's Ning and there's all of these social networks, I was just thinking about how fragmented the message really is. And there was one guy on a panel about journalism who said that because there's so many messages, the user has to decide what's real and what's not. And I feel like putting the onus on the user to decide what's authentic is really not the way that journalists should be thinking. I mean, we should be thinking about social media, and we should be thinking about aggregating all of the fragmentation of messages that's out there right now. We should be thinking bigger, but not um, just what's first and what's right and what's real and what's not. And it, it creates this schizophrenia of messages that really is not meaningful. And so how do you add meaning to such a fragmented society? I'm not sure I know yet, but I think about it all the time as I think about how to be a relevant journalist in the new age of digital communication. And I don't know exactly how we're going to figure that out now, but I know that crowdsourcing is really the only way to figure out what we want and what we want to consume and how we'll consume it and not just in terms of technology but also in terms of the message and um, the voice that represents public opinion right now. So I know this seems like a fragmented message which is in response to a fragmented conference which is I guess a part of my fragmented brain um, and again hopefully my yoga class will just slow me down and maybe it'll all come to me and I'll win a Pulitzer because I figure it out myself um, which would be nice so anyway I hope you can at least think about this and maybe respond to me and tell me what you think and respond either on YouTube or on my blog or you can Twitter me and then your responses will be fragmented. Anyway, I hope you have a mon nice Monday night. I'll try and post another video tomorrow after the conference, although I'm only going to the first half because I have Buzz Out Loud in the afternoon. So I will see you on the internet. I hope you have a lovely Monday night.